What's the last piece of music that really inspired you? I'm always inspired by total silence. The Rock Snobs Dictionary. Kraftwerk. Alternate pronunciation, Kraftwerk. Acutely German pop group that pioneered a highly mechanized, highly influential music that they named Robot Rock. With songs devoted to the joys of motoring, bicycling, and using pocket calculators, Kraftwerk's droll and austere synth pop has been described by rock snob godhead Brian Eno as nostalgic for the future. Founded in 1970 by two friends from Dusseldorf, Florian Schneider and Ralph Hooter, Kraftwerk began as garden variety music nerds making freeform experimental music in their homeland's so called Krautrock tradition. But on their fourth album, Autobahn, the band broke from tradition with a synth-based sound featuring vocals processed through a vocoder, a device that distorts the human voice into a old robotic bleat. In the four Kraftwerk albums to follow, Radioactivity, Trans Europe Express, The Man Machine, and Computer World, the group cemented what rock snobs consider its classic lineup, a quartet of waxen, short-haired, emotionless mannequins. To drive the point home, Kraftwerk led off its seventh album, The Man Machine, with a manifesto entitled The Robots. And the band commissioned the manufacture of robot facsimiles to be used in videos, concerts, and even press interviews. Hello, Mr. Ralph Bott. In 1982, the Bronx DJ, Africa Bambata, discovered the track Trans Europe Express and used a sample of it as the basis for his 1982 hit, Planet Rock, becoming a trailblazer in the fuckified use of vocoders. Only Ralph Hooter remains from the classic lineup, yet the man machine cannot be stopped, nor shall its cultural influence ever abate. Whether it's Daft Punk appropriating the inscrutable Android stick wholesale, or Kanye pretending to be weirder than he actually is. The Rock Snob knows, and is only too pleased to let you know, that it was back in Dusseldorf where all the hard work started. Thank you.